What's up guys, Pucky here and welcome to Stride Last Longer. Today we'll be joined by MLG Pro Player Nated via Skype. Together we'll be going over some Halo Reach gameplay submitted by Trongavitis. Nated, how's it going buddy? It's going great Chris. You ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. Alright, well it looks like we got Trongavitis and friends playing on Capture the Flag Zealot. And as we get this gameplay started, tell me, what's going to be the key to capture the flag on Zealot? The key to capture the flag, especially off the start, is uh, to go for map control and the power weapons. Uh, but then even more importantly than that, you want to be going for the other team's flag. You want to send a guy right off the start to start pulling it and get momentum for your team. Well, speaking of power weapons, it looks like Trongavitis already has the grenade launcher and he's going for the sniper here. You approve of this? Uh, no, I don't. I usually don't like to get both power weapons. I usually like to leave one for my team. Uh, in that uh, situation, I probably would have went for the flag. Uh, uh, grenade launcher is really good on the health pack side of this map. Well, either way, it looks like our blue team is going to be able to grab the first flag. Let's move a little bit later into the game. And it looks like we have Trongavitis position top gold. Do you like his positioning here? I do like his positioning. Top gold is a very good place to be. You see his teammates pushing up right behind him. He cleans up a, both the kills. Really good team shooting going on here. Gets another del double kill, back-to-back -back double kills with extermination. So tell me after that, after killing all four members to get the extermination, how should you capitalize after making a big play? Uh, how you capitalize is doing exactly what he's doing, pulling the flag. And you, hopefully his teammates are set up in positions to help him, and uh, this is a nice play uh, here. Now tell me about the flag route. Do you, do you approve of this flag route? Uh, the flag route's not the best flag route you could take. You, run, you usually want to run it bottom center, uh, up to your own landing lift. It's the fastest route you can take. All right, Nated, so it looks like right now Trongavitis' team is being outslayed. Three guys coming off the respawn. Tell me, what's the proper way to react when you're coming off respawn? Well, my favorite thing to do is to communicate to my team when I'm dead and uh, kind of let them know what I'm going to be doing when I spawn, uh, where I'm going to be going, and like who I'm going to be working with. And uh, right here, he just kind of sprinted towards the flag. Good play here. So he's going for the flag. What should he be telling his teammates to do? He needs to be telling his teammates to get in positions to help him and or just go and return the flag, really, uh, that the team pulled their flag. And this is a really good play because it stopped them from capping the flag. It looks like both flags are out. That is going to create some objective dilemma, which brings me to my next question. How should you deal with standoffs? Uh, for the right opportunity to charge. Uh, you don't want to be fighting individual battles. Uh, um, kind of like what's going on right now. He's just by himself at the enemy's base. Even though he just uh, he's going to get this kill, uh, there's no way he's going to get this flag return. So really just overall, did, uh, no, really nothing, accomplished nothing right there. It's like Trongavitis is coming off the respawn, and there is going to be a sniper in play here. So. Tell me, what should he be doing coming off this fresh respawn? It looks like his teammate's still unable to push into the base. Yeah, I like this player right here getting the sniper, uh, using teamwork uh, with his teammate right here, top gold, uh, picking up uh, a couple kills, another nice headshot. Uh, I think right now would be the perfect time uh, to push in and get that flag return. So it looks like after that big sniping play from Trongavitis, the blue team is going to get the return and go on to win the game 4-3. to three. Nated, it's grading time, buddy. What do you give him? I give Trongavitis a B plus. Uh, what I liked out of him was a shot. He had a very nice shot. Um, another thing that I liked was his objective play. He had smart objective play. Uh, he would grab the flag uh, to stop the other team from capturing it and bring it all the way back to his base, um, which is a perfect play. And then, uh, but something I didn't like uh, was how he was a little bit greedy on the power weapons. Uh, usually, you want to drop a uh, one of the power weapons for your teammates, uh, then you can go for the flag. So a B plus overall, not a bad score for Trongavitis. Trongavitis, thanks so much for sending in your gameplay. And Nated, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Chris. It was a lot of fun. Well, guys, that is going to do it for us here at the Major League Gaming headquarters. But make sure to stay tuned to MajorLeagueGaming.com slash LastLonger. We're going to have more pros, more tips, and more Stride Last Longer episodes coming out soon.